What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys episode 5 of Dragon Ball Z Scenarios. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is actually quite a huge debate in the whole fandom of DBZ slash GT is who would be stronger, Super Saiyan God Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Before I go into that, I actually wanted to talk real quick about the gameplay here. Basically, yeah, I'm using K.O. Ken Goku and, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and this is Budokai 3. But basically what happened is I had to put it in training mode because no matter how many times I tried, the stupid bot wouldn't transform into a Super Saiyan 4. So I just used training mode and just fought with the bot for a little while so it can give you guys something to watch. But anyways guys, on to what I'm talking about here. Who do I believe is stronger? What transformation? That's basically the, the point of this video. Not really between the two characters or two versions of Goku. But morally, what transformation is stronger, Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan 4? Remember, this is opinion based with, you know, a few statements and stuff, so you don't have to take it too seriously. If you disagree, feel free to leave um, your opinion and why in the comments below. But as for me, the transformation that I believe is stronger out of the two, I would honestly have to go with Super Saiyan God, and basically the reason why I believe Super Saiyan God is stronger than Super Saiyan 4 is simply one statement that Beerus said in the Battle of Gods movie. I'm kind of paraphrasing here, I don't remember exact the wording, exact what he said, quote unquote, but basically what Beerus said is he said that the thing you call key doesn't work on me, basically saying that any form of key doesn't work on him because he is miles above any type of form of key, any type of person that uses key because he has a new type of energy that's basically godly energy that is unsurpassable by something as basic as key. Kind of almost even saying that no matter how strong you train, if you use base something as basic as key, you would never surpass him. And that kind of is kind of really crazy to think about because if that's true, then that would mean he's even stronger than, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or even um, Omega Shenron, which is kind of a crazy thing to imagine. I don't really know. It's kind of hard and debatable because those characters are really, really overpowered. But he basically states that his type of energy is something that, that no one with Ki can touch him. He's just way too powerful for them. Not to mention one simple little fact that's actually kind of interesting about their energy is that when they hit that godly form, that godly type of transformation, and even when it comes to Goku, it can't be sensed. It's not like he where, you know, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Krillin, anyone can sense it, you know. When it comes to Ki, if you have the ability to control it and you're a warrior, you have the ability to sense it. Whereas when it comes to the godly form, you can't sense it at all. You can be a person who's very powerful and knows how to use key like Vegeta or Krillin or Go Gohan, but you wouldn't be able to sense someone that's a godly form. That's something that Krillin even stated in when Goku first became the Super Saiyan God in the movie. Krillin basically said, I, I don't sense him. I, I can't sense his presence. He's almost like he's not there and it's not because he isn't there but it's because his energy is a completely different category from Ki. it's something far more powerful than Ki could ever hope to be basically and that is why i believe super saiyan god the transformation super saiyan god is stronger than the transformation of super saiyan 4 because it's not a mere transformation it's a transformation straight into becoming a deity someone that can match someone like Beerus, the god of destruction. It's a completely different transformation than that of just merely multiplying um, the user's base form. It's just insanely more powerful. You know, we saw what happened with Goku in SS3. He was completely powerless, but yet as a Super Saiyan god, he was able to push Beerus up to 70% of his full power. If Goku is somehow able to become a Super Saiyan 4 against Beerus during that movie, I honestly don't even think it would be an effective technique whatsoever. I honestly think he would easily have been defeated by Beerus even as a Super Saiyan 4. But anyways guys, I'm running out of time here. If you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think. Do you think Super Saiyan God is stronger than Super Saiyan 4, or vice versa? Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and take it easy.